Hey guys, this is Rich Boy J here back in with another video, and this is going to be another update on the crate mock. As promised in the last video, I'm going to try to be doing one of these every single day this week, just because there's going to be so much progress being done on the mock, since we have a convention to take this to next week. I figured, why save everything up until the final update on Sunday? Why not just spread it out over the week and give you guys kind of a taste of everything that we're adding to it each and every single day? So let's dive right in. First thing I have here are actually some parts that came in the other day. All of these very crucial to the mock. The first are these um, two pieces, which is very nice. I think these are actually Technic connectors. And these are going to be used for the piping that goes around the top of the like, cave section. So these will line the walls and add some detail. Also got in a pretty good order of the pick-a-brick rock pieces, which is nice because we were in pretty desperate need of some more of these. So this will work well for building up the rock work on the inside, as you guys are well familiar with if you've been keeping up with the series for any length of time. Also, got in, finally, some dark gray bricks of various sizes. Got the 1x2s over there, 1x4s, 2x2s, 1x1s, and 1x3s. Um, those are just used also to build up the rock work. So, working with a lot of dark gray right now, and let's go ahead and see what we actually got done. So, if you guys didn't know, last night we were actually streaming with um, Bricknado. Shout out to Bricknado Studios for having us on. And I was able to finish up um, pretty much the entire front of this half of the door. So this thing is pretty tall now. It's about as tall as the mountains. I'm still not sure if I want to like increase the size of the mountains. Like obviously if time were an issue, I would. But because it is kind of coming down to the wire, I may just kind of extend it a little bit. And I may actually end up just putting some rocks like right above the door just to kind of link everything together and make it all flow seamlessly and have it work out pretty well. But one of the updates I really wanted to give you guys was on this little slot right here. So I mentioned in the last video that it was either going to be a situation where we just omitted the slot altogether or we decided to go with two smaller slots that don't really allow for an actual ski speeder to fit through it, like this, obviously. Can't get through there, but if we still have it hanging out, it's big enough to where it'll actually still look like a ski speeder can fit through it. So that's kind of what we decided to do. This slot's gonna be open, the one on the other door is gonna be closed, but this will kind of be hanging like right here. So to give the illusion that it just flew out of that door. And I like it, I think it actually looks pretty cool. So happy that that's been kind of worked out. Thanks for all the input that you guy got from you guys. And it certainly helped with moving forward with this mock. So let's take a look on the inside of the mock. You can see that Garrett got quite a bit of work done on that side, just building up the rocks right there, as well as for that um, fan appreciation room on that side of it. You can also see that there's kind of like an entrance to the little cave section that's going to go right through there and then out to the um, tunnels in the actual battlefield. So pretty cool, pretty cool. We obviously have tons more of this to be done. So that's going to be the bulk of these updates, I imagine. And you can see, even on my side, I didn't really get any work done, actually, because I had been working on the door for the stream, but you guys can get the idea of these pieces are going to be used to replace these tubes right here and go along the walls. So, pretty happy that I finally got those in. And then finally, you guys can see right up top that the back of the door is obviously very colorful. That's going to be covered up. But the idea is that there's basically going to be like a little hanger right here. And then there's going to be a tunnel right here. And if you've played Battlefront 2, you know exactly what I'm referring to. If you start off the map on a ski speeder, you'll be going through like a tunnel in the door. And then you'll pop out through the other side. So there'll be a hatch that'll be open that the ski speeder will have gone through. So I'm actually really happy that we've kind of figured out that situation. The same kind of thing is going to be on the other side. However, there's not going to be a tunnel because the hatch is not going to be open. There's no need to build something that's not even going to be seen and the door is going to be closed. So this is going to be like an open door. The other side is going to have a closed door, but they'll still give the same general idea. So that's really going to finish up the update, guys. Just wanted to give you a quick look at the things that we got done last night, and if I get a significant amount of work done today, there'll be one tomorrow. So thanks to everyone who's been following along with this month. Like I said, we getting down to the wire. I got a lot of work to do, but it's Pretty exciting, honestly, just seeing this thing really come together and finally having a door that looks reasonably tall and it's not like half the size of the mountain. So, like I always say, guys, if you like what we do, go ahead and support the video by hitting the like button, support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, and we'll be back again very soon.